Hi guys! Welcome to our topic for this week. We'll be talking first in our first video lecture. Uh, we'll be talking about switch. And our next video lecture, we'll be talking about buzzer. But expect that uh, we will be inserting lead and other components in our circuit board. Okay? So let's talk about first, what is the definition of switch? So basically, if we will talk about switch, switch, it is an electrical device having two states, on or off, open or close. Ideally, having, um, having zero uh, impedance when close and infinite impedance when open. So if you can see here, this is actually the, um, the symbol of our switch, right? So one moment, uh, I need to use pen. This is actually our symbol of switch. Um, if you can see here, this is an open switch. So if you will put that one here, that's actually a closed one, right? Again, we have two states here. One, meaning it's on, or zero, that is actually off. Okay? Or we can consider this one as high, high, and low. Take note on that one. Okay? So if in our Tinkercad, um, you'll be able to see something like this. And also um, in your robotics kits or in your Arduino kit, um, you will have this kind of switch. But in other, um, uh, in older um, kits, uh, we are actually using this one or we are actually using this one, okay? So again, switch or it's also, um, if you can see the switch, um, the switch in your house or um, you can see when, um, if you will press this one, it will turn on the lights. If you will press this one, it will turn off the lights. Right? It will switch off the light. Am I right? So let's proceed in providing the materials for our, um, for our activity for this week. Uh, of course, we need to have a breadboard, a switch. This is um, the thing that we need here. Also, of course, we need to have an Arduino, Arduino, uh, Arduino Uno microcontroller as our, um, as our brain. We also need to put a LED light, a resistor, of course, since we have a LED light, and we need to, uh, we will be using only five connecting wires. Okay, so let me show you first um, my Tinkercad so that we can start working on the circuit. One moment, it's still loading, so I'll be creating a new circuit board. One moment. Oh. I'll be creating a new circuit board. There you go. Okay. Uh, okay. I pulled up now. Okay. So I think we can start right now by selecting our Arduino board. So, one moment. Okay. It's loading. I need to move this one and I need to arrange it okay oh no sorry there you go one moment okay next thing to do we need to start um, putting our ground or we need to have a connection from the ground so for example the color of the ground I will be assigning um, I'll be assigning it oh, sorry I'll be assigning it black okay so aside from that um, since I already have the ground um, this time um, I need to um, I need to use right now 
the resistor. Putting the resistor. Here is our resistor. And I will be turning this one like this. Okay, so the resistor will be coming here. There we go. There. After that, of course, I also need to prepare my LED light. One moment. I also need to prepare my LED light. Here. So the LED light is there. So I need to put something like that. Okay. So this is cathode. So I believe this is a negative charge. So there should be a connection from the negative side of it. Uh, one moment. Uh, I need to double check this first. Yeah, so there should be a connection from this part to this part. Okay, one moment. Or oh, I'll be putting that one here na lang for the positive one. Okay, that's for the positive one. So ground going here to the negative. So I'll be putting black here and for the resistor basically this should be connected to um, for example i'll be using um, digital pin 7 so again all digital pins are positive charges so for example if i wanted that my connecting wire for the positive are all uh, red so i can choose something like that then after that i will be putting my switch so basically, the purpose of this co, uh, the purpose of this circuit, if ever that I will press the button, um, it will um, turn. Ah, sorry, switch on the LED light. Okay, so I'll be using the push button. I'll be turning it like this so that I can basically put that one here. So. If you can see, this pole are actually different from this pole. So if you will assign a pole here as a positive, make sure uh, here, if you will have a connection from the microcontroller going here, so all of these holes um, horizontally are all positive, then make sure as well that there should be a negative here. Okay. So since I already have a negative part here, which is coming from the ground here so i'll be connecting something here going here to the lower right of my push button so i'll be putting black then after that since i already have a negative charge i need to use the positive so in the positive part of course i will be putting the positive charge to for example in push uh, in digital pin 8 so if we will review uh, one moment if we will review our connection we have a negative charge here has through here so there's a connection already in the lead there's also a negative charge going to this part of our push button for the positive we have seven digital input seven going to uh, going to this part which is the resistor going in the positive or the anode part of our LED light, then I also have digital pin 8 going to the positive um, horizontal line of my push button. So right now, let me do the coding part. So basically, in the coding part, just like what we did in our previous discussion, um, I will be putting, um, for example, this is button. So our button here is digital input. This is digital pin 8. Next, our LED light is actually in um, 7. Okay, so void set up. In the void set up, one moment. In the void setup, um, since I have um, one output 
So my output here, ah uh, sorry, one output and one input, right? So my input here would be my push button. So uh, pin mode, then button, then um, it should be input. Aside from that, I need also to um, turn on the pull up. So basically, if I will turn on the pull up, um, I will be assigning, um, I will, I need to set up um, digital right, then the um, button here to be high. Okay, so again, this is to turn on the pull up. Okay, next one. Um, I need to do the pin mode for the output of the LED. So this is actually output. Input, high, output should be all in capital letters. Okay. Next, void loop. For our void loop. Wait. Okay, so for our void loop, I'll go ahead and create my condition. So, if the wait, digital read, or let me assign that one here in the lang. If um, this is it equals digital read equals this is actually the button there. Sorry. In, this is it. If the this is it is actually gets a low result, normally this should be digital right, then uh, I need to put the lead into high so if i push the button um, if i push the button it will turn on the lead light or it will switch on the lead light right then else else um, digital equals to low like that one so basically it will off if it's high but if it's low it's actually it will turn on the lights um, led on this one led off okay or if you don't want to use something like this basically you can just uh, one moment you can actually just do something like this um, digital read then um, get uh, get the button since the button is our input diba how amazing it is um, we are using digital read if we need to get an input if we need to display something if we need to output we need to use the digital right okay digital read button if it reads low um, it will turn switch on the led light if if not, it will um, switch off. Okay? So let me try to start simulating it. Okay. So since if you will check our code um, here, oh, the turn on pull up are basically high. So that's also the reason why if I press this button, there. There. I hold it. So I pressed it. So um, the LED light turned on. Then once I release um, my left key on my mouse, there. So it turned off. On, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. So in our next video lecture, I'll be adding a buzzer. Once I, um, I press the button, it will not only turn on the LED light, but also it will ring the bell.